I called John up and I go, look, man, I just got a really interesting phone call. He goes, what's up? I said, the Braves want to know if next season you'll close. I mean, there's nobody in the minor leagues, John. There's nobody they want to trade for. I said, they really need you to step into this role. What do you think? He takes a couple days to think about it. We get on the phone with Bobby Cox, the manager of the team. We process this. A couple days later, as he's processing it, he comes up, sits down in my office, looks right at me and says, look, this whole closer thing, I want to do it. I want to do it. John stepped into the role of closer the following season, and he led the National League in saves. John went into the Hall of Fame as not just one of the best starters to ever pitch in the bigs, but one of the best closers. I saw this over and over again with the best athletes and coaches in the world. They stepped into change. At some level, they looked at these challenges and thought, what's the opportunity inside of this? What if? What's possible? Charge the storm, I know, is the theme. And I know, right, at some level, there's some change inside of the world that you're in. I would challenge you to pull back and recognize one of the things that I saw over and over again with great athletes. They stepped into the change. They stepped into the challenge with a mindset of what's possible. And what they found over and over again is the person that came out the other side of that change, that challenge, was a better version of the person that stepped in. But here's the deal. We have to believe that we can navigate these moments of change. We've got to believe that we can navigate these headwinds at some level. We've got to have that threaded inside of us because it changes the way we show up. It changes the way we sell, the way we solve, the way we lead. It changes everything.